today we're going to be making a pair of earrings. So what I have in front of me is some aluminum craft wire. I believe this is a 17 gauge roll in silver. And I'm going to take a small piece of this. Um, let's say about five inches or so. All right. I'm going to just cut that off here away from my face there and set that aside because all we need is this little piece here. I have flat nose pliers. You don't want to go in your garage and grab a pair. You actually want jewelry flat nose because they are smooth on the inside and um, hardware brand will have like a rigid edge there and that um, will mar your metals. And then I have a round nose pair of pliers and my flat nose has a wire cutter on it obviously and so I don't need an additional piece for that. Um, I have two uh, ear wires. Okay, I have one earring already put together. Set that off to the side. And then I have um, this little filler piece that has um, rhinestones in it. And that's going to go in between our two beads. And then from this large box of purple beads, we're going to pick out two. And I picked two crushed style. Now you could use anything you would like, but I thought the crushed worked really well um, with the rhinestones. All right, so I'm going to set this aside. And I'll just bring in this little dish I have sitting here. Let me clean it out. <laughs> I have some other little pieces in there. Okay, so there, we have our beads. And we have our rhinestone piece. I have my ear wire, and then I have my wire itself. Now, if you had a tool that um, is, it's kind of clear, I forget what it's called. It's, um, it's for straightening out your wire. You could definitely use that here, although we're just going to be using such a small piece of our wire. I'm not going to, I'm not too concerned. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut the end of my wire and I am going to cut so that the flat part of my cutting tool is facing the side of the wire I want to use. All right. And I put my finger in place just to catch it. Now these um, don't really shoot the wire out, but sometimes um, brands do. And you can see here, mine actually holds onto it. So I can just drop that. Now that's trash. You just want to get that out of the way. Now the next thing we're going to do is a really interesting little technique that um, this, because this is aluminum craft wire, it is soft. And so I'm able to do this technique with my flat nose pliers. However, in the past, I have done it with a jewelry hammer. All right. And so what I'm going to do is just the smallest end of this piece of wire is I want to go as high up into my flat nose as I can. Okay. And what I mean high up is away from the end. It's high up before I get to my um, cutter. All right, and I want to grab hold and I'm squeezing tight. All right, and I, you can even do it with both hands. All right, if um, you are worried about your hands and being able to grab it tight enough, um, then go ahead and you can do this with a hammer. But can you see what happened there? It flattened out the end. All right, and then all we want to do is test to see if we've gotten that wide enough that I'm gonna have to trim off this end. Sorry, because it's bent. So let me just do that real quick. Okay. You want to feed on your bead and see, is it wide enough to hold your bead in place? Okay, and this one is, and the way I check is I give it a really good tug. All right. now. As I feel on the bottom here, I am feeling a little bit of a burr. And so I am gonna just bring in a nail file. This didn't happen on my first version, but um, for this one, I'm just gonna bring in a nail file and file that end round, just so I'm not hurting the wearer with that wire. All right. And that has rounded out quite nicely. And I don't know if I can get that in close enough for you to see it. Yeah. All right. And as I rub my finger over it now, it's not rough at all. 
Okay, ready to move on. So then I'm going to put my spacer bead on. And this length of wire is quite long for what we're doing. I don't really need all of this, um, but it is easy to, to hang on to. And then I'm using my lighter bead on the top. All right, and I'm just pulling it down. And so just in comparison to make sure that they look good together. All right. And they do. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this wire and I can actually do this with my hand because this is so soft. Um, I am just gonna bend this away from that bead. And now those are being held in place there, all right? And so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out probably a little bit longer than the, the thickness of my finger here. And I'm getting marks <laughs> from rubbing on the aluminum. So my fingers are getting a little stained here. But I'm going to um, cut off just a little bit longer, maybe a width um, and a half of my finger. All right. And I'm going to use that to then roll up um, my loop. Now, once again, I'm making sure that the flat end of my wire cutter is facing my project. And the piece that's away from my project is going to get an angular cut. And what I mean by that is that if, I don't know if I can even get this in here for you to see. Um, this is the trashed piece and it cuts at an angle. All right. I don't want that on my project because it's, it's pointy. Um, if you look at your trimmer, you can see here that's flat. Um, this grade in area here is my, is my trimmer. All right. That's flat. And if I flip the other side over, I know it's dark. I don't know if you can see it's at an angle. Okay, so the two sides are going in like this at an angle to cut, all right, where the other side is flat like this. That's the side, this side, the flat side, is the side that you always want facing your project. All right, so now I'm just going to take this wire using my round nose pliers. I'm going to grab it, and I actually, you can see that I do this enough that I actually have a little mark there <laughs> where I usually use my flat nose, or excuse me, my round nose pliers. And I'm gonna go out to the end of that piece of wire, okay, very much the end, and I'm gonna roll in towards my beads. All right, so I'm gonna roll as far as I can with my hand, and you can see my hands upside down. So now I'm gonna let go and roll back over and grab on and finish the roll. All right, and so there it gives me my loop at the end. Now, if it's a little wonky, you can go in here and grab this side and bend it so that your loop is now, you've got a center stalk right here, and then your loop happens all the way around like so. So the next thing we need to do is just grab our ear wire. It also has that similar loop at the bottom and we're going to find the side that has its opening and grab a hold of it. You can do it with your flat nose, you can do it with your round nose, but no matter which one you use you're going to want to bend it away from the stem. All right, so I'm bending up towards you to open up that clasp. All right, maybe that's a good angle there. What you don't want is to pull it open and make that loop larger, all right? So now I'm just going to hang this piece on there and bend that loop back in place and even just give it a wiggle once or twice, um, manipulating metal just a little bit will then um, let it, it hardens as, as you use it. So now I have both of my earrings done. 